Well, this is where Jesse Smollett turned himself in at five this morning. Now we're hearing from police. He was very quiet, but he was being very cooperative with the officers involved. Now police also say that, in fact, his attorneys were the ones that were doing all the talking. Now I was just inside headquarters. They're actually fixing up the room right now to have a press conference at 9 a.m. But the latest that we know right now from Chicago police is what they tweeted early this morning, and they are in fact confirming Jesse Smollett is under a arrest and in custody. Now we will be hearing from Superintendent Eddie Johnson and detectives who worked on. In this case, at 9 a.m., we hope to have a full understanding of all the series of events involving this investigation. Jesse Sm Slamet, excuse me, first reported that hate crime on January 29th. According to him, he was walking home when he was approached by two men. Now, he says those two men attacked him, yelled racial and homophobic slurs, poured a bleach-like substance on him, tied a noose around his neck, and then yelled, this is MAGA country. It's been more than three weeks now that investigators have been trying to piece a series of events together. And in the midst of all those moving pieces, two law enforcement sources claimed Slamet staged his own attack and paid off the two brothers involved who were once persons of interest. Now, according to police, the brothers admitted to following Slamet's instructions of going through with the attack. And in fact, they were both acquaintances of him and involved in the show Empire. Now, now, new video surfaced showing the two persons of interest, the two brothers, right, Ola and Abel Osundario, buying the items they used during that staged attack. Now, this is from a Chicago beauty store, and it shows the brothers purchasing a ski mask, sunglasses, and a red hat. The store owner says the two brothers paid in cash, and that same owner turned over this video to Chicago police on Friday of last week. But get this, this purchase was actually made the day before Slamet reported the alleged hate crime. Now, like I mentioned earlier, he's turned himself in. He has surrendered. Right now, he's being charged with one count of felony disorderly conduct for filing a false police report. Like I said, we're having a press briefing at 9 a.m. We hope to have more details for that. I will absolutely be going live, so make sure you check our Jam social media pages for that. For now, I'm live in Bronzeville. Diana Gutierrez, The Jam.